Trent Williams went down last night with a high ankle sprain. Um, remind people what a high ankle sprain and, and is and how it potentially could affect the 320 pound, 34 year old left tackle. Yeah, no, I think absolutely. When people hear a sprain, they're like, oh, why is someone going to be out six to eight weeks? It's just a sprain. Yeah. So number one, sprain means that there's a some sort of tear of the ligament, right? So that's kind of like, but we say sprain, but there's actually structural issues. You know, when you've got your regular garden variety, low ankle sprain, it's kind of little small ligaments down below, kind of heal up in a couple of weeks. The high ankle is basically these strong ligaments that basically connect your two shin bones. So they are really, really strong ligaments. When those tear, what basically is happening is, is those two bones are basically spreading apart. So you can imagine you got a little ankle sprain. It just hurts here. 300 pound man's coming down his leg. And if those ligaments aren't healed, you've got your tibia and fibula just like moving apart like that. It's really, really painful. Um, so that's why it takes longer to heal because it's generally more force. And also they just, it, there's more stuff going across that area. So, I mean, you hear about Trent Williams and Mac Jones kind of, they said they had a similar mm. thing with the reports as well too. So what makes it harder for Williams is his size and the fact that I think this was the same leg that he hurt back right. during the playoffs. Correct. So that may push that timeline a little bit further back. So, you know, in general, it's four to six weeks, but this could be six to eight weeks based on all those various factors. Does the fact that he injured the same high ankle that he injured 10 months ago make you feel like the original injury never fully healed or what? That's, that's a great question. You know, it really depends on if Williams is still having any kind of residual symptoms. Like if he was saying, look, it's still hurting a little bit. I mean, you saw him, he like want basically convinced the 49ers to play during the game. He like, you know, right. when the, when the cart came out, he's like, no, don't, I don't want to, I don't want that. So, you know, if he was having a little bit of soreness, wasn't telling anyone, then potentially there is that, you know, chance that maybe it wasn't fully healed. And with a lot of these injuries, you're really going off what the player's telling you. Like you can get mm -hmm. MRIs and tests, but if they're like, look, I feel good, but there's still some soreness. There may potentially have been that, but when you look at the play, I mean, I think it was just one of those things where someone just landed on his leg, but you know, that ligament probably still had some degree of compromise, you know, it can take 12 to 18 months for it to heal. So mm -hmm. having this happen again wow. is, is tough. Yeah. So given the fact that he, there was a previous injury, his age, his size, his position, they might need to be extra careful as opposed to rookie running back, Ty Davis price, different body type, different position, same injury. Right. Uh, is it possible that he might be able to return to action quicker than Trent? Yeah, I think there's that possibility. I mean, also, even with these high ankle sprains, there's some of them that are a little bit more, you know, not as severe, a little bit less right. tearing, a little bit less inflammation. But I agree, size, position, absolutely, you know, plays a role in that. And for, uh, you know, a little bit more agile, less weight player, um, absolutely, you can get back a little bit quicker because there's not as much force going across it. So absolutely, I think Trent Williams, they may play it a little bit more safer. And also you have to look at what does that player also mean to the team, right? You know, like, if you've got a bunch of running backs, you're cycling through them. You may be a little bit more willing to say, look, we got to get someone out there. Whereas with Trent Williams, you're like, look, we can't have you re-injure and then be out for the rest of the season. Yeah. That's a great point. A running back, he could be part of a rotation. You could give him five carries, 10 carries. Trent Williams, when you come back, you got to be prepared to play 100% of the snaps. Well, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, thank you so much for coming on. I'm sure I'll have you back on soon because the 49ers seem to get injured a lot. So I'm sure we'll have... Not that I'm looking forward to that, but yeah. <laughs> we'll have more to discuss. I really appreciate your insights. Thank you so much.